Hey everyone, this is Amy from RV Journey with Amy and Amy. And today we're going to talk about dog grooming. Yes, you too can groom your dog, even if you're at the campsite like we are. Our dog Lila needs it, so I'm going to walk you through that right now. So the equipment that we use is this, it's the Revera Lithium by Wall. This is made for pets, it's a little bit quieter, doesn't get as hot, and these just snap out. So this is what's important, you have to keep this clean. So you'll see me clean this during the grooming process. You also have to keep this area looped up so that it continues to move and stays, stays working properly and sharp. So this stuff, the gear lube, you put a little pop of that, little tiny little squeeze of that right there, and that makes this move nice and smooth. Snap that back on. And then we've got the clipper oil. You put a little bit of, little stripe of this stuff right on there real quick. Run it. It keeps that blade nice and smooth and going. You can hear it running nice and smooth. You want to make sure that's in there real well. Um, we've also got a choice of blades so or these are blade attachments um, one blade two blade three blade four blade and then a six blade this comes as a little kit these are really cheap on Amazon uh, for Lila today we're gonna be using the two blade and they are right I'm not sure if you can see that but it's right here it says number two Yep, there you go so along with this equipment um, these little brushes I believe they come with the razor these are needed to clean these out periodically during the haircut. Um, little scissors, dog grooming scissors, and dog grooming comb with the wide teeth and then the narrow teeth. These are essential elements as well to the haircut. Hey Lila, are you, are you ready for your haircut? No. Well, Mama G combed you up real good, so now it's time for your haircut. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna start. At the neckline, she wants to lay down. We start at the neckline and go right down. And this is how we're going to do it. Look at that. Lila, I need you to stand. I need you to stand up. Take a few swipes. I always start at the neckline. And then you want to go down the back around the side. And just keep repeating that. Down the back and around the side. And every now and then you have to check the razor. You gotta always clear the hair out of the razor, but you can see right here it's getting all mucked up little brushes are for. Clean that out of there. Clean it out of here. It's never perfect, but it's a whole lot better when you get those lumps out of there. The razor will work better. What do you think, Lila? Lila's, Lila's pretty good at this. I'm actually pretty lucky, but she's also nine years old and has been through this a couple times in her life. <laughs> like six times a year. Alright, we'll go back at it. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Apparently this is the grooming break. Just need a break for a minute here, Ma. Just need a break. Alright, so I've got her body done. Neck, back end, tail. Shake? <laughs> you can shake. Um, there we go. And I've been doing that on the two blade. For the legs, I go down to the shorter one blade. And that'll give her a nice finished look. Right now, they look pretty good, but this will really make a big difference on how that looks. So, body a little longer, legs a little shorter, and this is what we call a, just a your basic puppy cut. 
so this is not a, a stylized cut for any rhyme or reason. It's just a puppy cut. So we're going to do legs now. Next phase, we got the legs. Some of this stuff down at the ankles and the feet doesn't cut very easily with the razor. So we actually hand hand trim and you kind of want to see the fur on the paw is pretty crazy. You kind of just make a little you shape the pad or the shape the paw into a nice little oval shape and pull the fur up out of her little claws because it likes to grow between the toes. Trim that. And we'll do that for all fours. That, that's crazy. You can see she's dirty. We're going to have to bathe her when we get home. But that's too long. We'll trim that down a little bit more. And then we've got that done. We'll actually take all of the attachments off of the razor. And this adjusts the blade height. I'm going to make it as short as possible. And then we're going to shave. I'll show you it's just one foot. We shave. These pads need to be clean. The dog cools, all dogs cool down. Um, their pads help them keep cool, so you really got to keep this area trimmed. And so we just go right in there, shave it. Get as much of that fur as you can. You gotta be, you gotta be gentle. It feels a little funny to them, but if you can get it nice and clear, so you can see those pads again, and then I go up, try to trim some of this stuff right around the low-hanging fur, and that's pads. This is what we do. We do call it tummy time. Put her up on me. Just like that, we go right up the tummy. And the tummy is being actually shaved really short as well. We take a break. We take a break every now and then, then we go back up the tummy time. It works very well. We are done with Lila's grooming, and this is her puppy cut. I've been I've been grooming Lila for I don't know three or four years. I've never had any training. I watched a few YouTube videos. Um, a couple things to note: you can do this too. It saves a lot of money. It also gives you some nice bonding time with your pet. Um, if there's a specific cut that you prefer on your dog. Watch some YouTube videos on that specific cut. You'll be able to you'll be able to copy that yourself um, and get it as close as you can. Every time I do this, I do something wrong, and something different turns out better than before. So it's never a perfect cut, but it's always a nice time with my dog, and um, I'm really glad that I've I've done it. The bonding time has been really good, and she doesn't mind it at all. So good job, Lila. Good job. Lila. Gracie's waiting. Yeah. All right. Not so patiently. There she is. Yay, Lila, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Who's so beautiful? She says, where's my treat? You're beautiful. 